Good morning, everybody. It's Thanksgiving week, PricesKing.com. Let's get started. What's going on? Um, a lot of things happened. I think a lot of the things that we've discussed on these uh, futures and daily summary, trading summary of um, all the futures and some of the stocks uh, is playing out just like we've been predicted. So let's get right into it. Um, let's see what's going on on the Dow. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. We've getting close to that 2,000 little over mark. So appreciate you guys um, hitting that like and subscribe. Let's see what's going on here. Um, what we discussed on the YM is pretty amazing. Like everything has been playing out um, like we've, we've talked about. Um, we got the RAM indicator being support. We got the, the mid band kind of held it in right here and it just kind of took off and that's what we predicted right like if this broke and it did it skyrocketed to the next spot and the next spot and so now what it's doing is it's gravitating toward this high the 35323 it's going to try to make this high before it comes down um it's 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 reaching i mean we're on the upper band right here on the bollinger band uh, and certainly it is reaching up there uh, we got a lot of green candles on the bottom right here on the macd still some move, movement towards the upside is available and and so it will go there i think um this holiday season is going to be prime uh, for a little bit movement upward uh, you may see the futures go down a little bit here and there but you know ultimately we're seeing that tick upwards right and the same thing over here we see an, it's a sideways mark on the RSI but it's going to try to get to that over uh, bought condition before it comes down but it will happen and and it's just a matter of time right I mean we got Black Friday right around the corner and that's going to make a big difference right there in itself right um, it'll push things a little bit upwards uh, there's some you know staggering um, earning seasons that's still uh, coming to the plate and uh, it'll make its way up there but it, it would certainly you know play it out just before it comes down before profit taking so keep that in mind uh, be wary and um, you know just look for that little bit upward momentum and we'll talk about some of the stocks right just that driving these things up and, and whatnot uh, and ultimately this big gap upward may bring down the the Dow a little bit for profit taking but ultimately we'll try to reach this high and then what it's going to do is it's going to try to break this it will try to break this because it wants to go all the way to 35808 that's the next target okay if it breaks it keep in mind there's some room upwards the momentum is there and don't you know stay on the sidelines if you're contemplating on what to do uh, again, similar situation on the ES. ES, we've gotten, you know, support area right around here. That kind of held it in. Let me zoom in. You'll see a lot of stuff going on here as well. You got the mid band, it broke. Then it tried to touch the RAM indicator, it broke. Then it just kind of took off and went up to the upper band and as soon as it went to the upper band it is riding along and it broke this high and now it's you know trying to break this high which is the next target and then once it does that 4562 is the next target so certainly it's getting up there um, and then you know ultimately because of what we see here on the MACD and what we see here on the RSI it's gonna try to break this 4562 and then go straight to 46.33. Okay, that's the next target. Obviously, it's not going to happen in one day uh, unless there's some rock solid news. But I, I doubt that there's going to be any rock solid news that's going to drive that fast of a movement up. Um, there could be a, a rock solid news that would bring it down like this. But I mean, if, if, if there's Fed talk of cutting rates, then that could shoot this thing up, right? Um, so keep that in mind. Um, but there is some room upwards, right? I mean, we, we're looking at staggering and going up to the the next target that it's going to do before it comes down, before the next uh, set of profit taking. Uh, with that said, let's take a look at the NQ. All right, so NQ, let me zoom in. And what do we got here on the NQ? 
All right. Remember, similar situation last you know week and a half. We broke through the mid band. We broke through the RAM indicator. This is on a daily chart. And remember, look at this. It broke that previous high, the previous high that we were talking about that it was going to target. And if it did break, and which it did, boom, gap up. Right? You saw how it did. And so now before it comes down the 1606 is where it's headed towards right and it's it's like you, if you zoom into this area right here you'll see that it's targeting that previous high and it's trying to break that previous high and if it breaks this then it's going to go up to the 16 all right 16,000 mark and that's where it's trying to go towards before it comes down so there's a little bit of room upwards we got this momentum going up we got RSI pretty much up there. It hasn't been in the over, you know, bought condition yet, but it's certainly trying to make its way, well, it's, you know, stuff up there. Um, and with that said, it is going to go and target the 16.062. Okay, um, that's the next way up before it comes down. But obviously, there's going to be some point where it will come down a little bit before it goes up. But that is the ultimate target before it comes down. Uh, that's on the NQ. Let's take a look at oil. I know a lot of people talking about oil, like why does it keep going down? It continues to go down and, you know, in this day and age, it should be actually going up. Uh, so what's going on? And, and you know, honestly, I would say this is just a ploy. I, I would, you know, 77 is pretty low uh, in this day and age for oil, right? Especially what's going on in those areas. Uh, this is not something where you know oil should be. Uh, so I would anticipate this cross happening. The the RSI is going up, and this is actually remember I told you to add, and go long on this. When, once it breaks this, go long on it because this is where it's going to be ideally a good spot to to take along. Uh, so we had this leg down. We have this leg down. There's going to be a leg up. Uh, for all the the people that have gotten in right because 77 is pretty it's not I mean the Saudis are pretty upset right now at 77 so they're gonna try to bring it back into the 90s easily um, especially winters right, right around the corner so a lot of uh, different usage for different types of um, uh, <coughs> uh, oil uh, and, and so that's a, a big play that uh, that will bring the, the, the price back up uh, so keep that in mind uh, let's take a look at gold let's see what's going on with gold all right so gold remember how had went down to the 1800s now it's going down right here about the 1900 1936 so this was just a leg up now obviously i don't know if you like my upside down j's but whenever i see an upside down j that is a part to get long right around here and I had mentioned that in my previous call that, hey, you know what? This is probably an area that you want to get along. And my bubble was slightly off, but this is what I was talking about. Like if it comes down, you want to go along before it goes to the next leg up. Um, so it, what we what do we have here? We got the lower band here. You got the our RAM indicator here. There's some support. So this is probably short term. You want to buy and then exit out right around here if you're a short-term trader all right so that's what's going on so let's take a look at a few stocks real quick um let is looking at let's see uh microsoft i like the microsoft oops msft it broke the highs right that, that's what i told you guys you know i myself got in and I'm riding it for a little bit and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to see to it to at least 380 uh, because I do see a cross that might be happening soon um, and that's just because all of this profit taking will happen and if it goes down to the 360 areas then I will go along again and try to bank on another one right? because Microsoft solid stock you can't go wrong um, everything looks positive the only thing that I'm saying here is for short term there's gonna be a cross that's gonna happen we'll bring down the price a little bit 
and that will give you opportunity to get it. So remember, when whenever somebody asks you why does the stock go down as soon as you buy it, is because all of this news cycle came in and you're like, oh, okay, everybody's buying the stock. Um, but the short-term traders, what they're going to do is they they were probably over here. They were logged in in here. And so they're trying to take their profit and you're trying to get in over here. They're going to bring the price down. So as soon as you get in here, they're going to bring the price down to around here. And then you're going to be like, oh, as soon as I bought the stock, it went down. Well, if you had waited, you can actually wait until the 360s. And that's when you get in to bank. Right, so the name of the game is being patient. Right, uh, don't just get in. All right, Tesla's got some more bad news. People are, uh, or you know, other parts of the world not taking their stock seriously because of what you know he's been tweeting lately. Right, so we got to be careful. Um, you know, this stock is always dependent on the guy's tweets. Right, like you, you, you know, you want to be mindful. Um, of what's happening but at the same time you got people like Kathy Woods and trying to buy buy up the stock at cheap because they feel like this is going to be a good AI contender um, and they see that the price is cheap relatively to what you know the overall market thinks and because of that you'll start seeing smaller and smaller increments of it going back on its uh, 300 mark but here look we got the down we got that and we have a lower high right here compared to this and what that means it could bring it down back around the 200 mark okay and when that does happen I would suggest if this holds in right here the 206 then you would go for a long in this area because that will bring it back up to this 260 um, because now you got higher highs compared to this and then higher high compared to this right so if you if you get in around this number you will you know move itself up another uh, leg so that's what's going on there let's take a look at disney what do we have in disney disney disney's been taking a hit lately with all the marvel stuff but um you know with with the recent earnings report shot up uh, so what we haven't looked at disney in a while but here look it broke up this high and then it targeted this 92 but it broke now what it's going to do is there's going to be some profit taking this is going to come down i see this rsi boom coming down there's going to be some profit taking so probably you want to do is take in a long right around here and then the next target would be 96 short-term traders which is two dollars up that's a good profit uh, and then back up to the hundreds um, but at least what I see is we were on this downtrend. Now all of a sudden the shift has happened, right? And you had the the hires, higher highs, and then it's trying to make another higher high. Um, that just basically, if you're a long-term swing trader, that means that it's going to go up a little bit. All right. So keep that in mind. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, we're going to take one look. I, I know I mentioned uh, PLTR. Oh, PLTR is at $21, guys. What did I tell you? This stock is almost going to be... It's 2050, right? So it's it's further. You see these things? It's going to go up. This thing is going to go up. This stock, I don't think I'm going to sell yet. Uh, I've had this for some time now, and I don't think I want to sell yet. I think I'm going to wait till maybe 30 uh, before I take a profit. Uh, but I do see it going, you know another leg up and so we made higher highs higher highs higher highs now it is on its verge of breaking this which it will hold like 2049 so you got this big i don't know what the news cycle says let's see barons we stack big knee by chair across plant your stock on the face of highs closing in two years towards high close took the highest close since november okay so you know what this stock has some good news right i mean they made some profits um they got some so i, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing goes straight to 50. um but you know there's going to be you know it's a slow moving stock it's not going to be jumping like tesla uh, but it will go that far right and so just keep an eye on it i, I would suggest uh, if it goes below 20 get in and uh, ride the wave definitely ride the wave let's look at the last one ddog i think i missed this one i was really upset 
Um, but at the same time, you know, this is one of those stocks that if it goes below a certain number, you want to get in. Uh, because this is going to be another one of those AI plays, right? So we were down here and it went shut and straight back up into the high 109, 110, right? Um, I can't believe I missed this. I should have bought it right around here. Uh, but oh well, right? Like, I mean, you miss it, you miss it, you can't. But I would say, like, there's going to be some profit taking right around here this 102 if you see you know there's a little support here and a support here in the next few days if you see it coming down attack it and get in long because this one will easily go to 130s the 118 is going to break which is the next leg up and then once that breaks 130 is the next number all right priceisking.com like and subscribe make sure you like and subscribe thank you for watching Appreciate it.